Astronomers have found evidence of a rare intermediate black hole in our cosmic neighborhood. It is an intermediate mass black hole located about 6,000 light years away in the Messier for star cluster. So far, we have only observed two distinct classes of black holes, gigantic supermassive black holes, lurking in the centers of galaxies and with masses millions to billions of times the mass of our sun, and their smaller counterparts, stellar mass black holes, born from the violent deaths of massive stars and with masses only a few times that of the sun. However, a groundbreaking discovery in a nearby star cluster is challenging this dual classification and offering a tantalizing glimpse into a previously elusive category of black holes. Astronomers have revealed evidence of a rare intermediate mass black hole, bridging the mass gap between supermassive black holes and stellar black holes. But what makes an intermediate mass black hole, or AMI, special? Why is it so difficult to find a black hole of this category? Finally, and most importantly, how did astronomers manage to make this exciting discovery? Based on existing research, one of the main places to look for intermediate mass black holes is in the core of globular clusters. A globular cluster refers to a tightly bound system of billions of stars held together by gravitational forces, all originating from the same molecular cloud. These clusters are usually located on the outskirts of galaxies, revolving around the galactic center. To date, a few possible intermediate mass black holes have been identified within such clusters, circling our own Milky Way galaxy. For example, in 2008, Data from the Hubble Space Telescope led astronomers to postulate the existence of an AMI in the Omega Centauri globular cluster. Subsequently, the Space Telescope identified two other credible candidates for these intermediate mass cosmic entities in 2009 and 2020, located within densely packed star clusters on the outskirts of other galaxies. In addition, NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory has also played a crucial role in identifying possible hosts for intermediate black holes, especially in the year 2018. Many of these candidates have been suggested to have masses ranging from tens to thousands times that of our Sun. But the problem is that these candidate objects are located at considerable distances, and the available data have been insufficient to firmly confirm these hypotheses, leaving most of these findings inconclusive. This is precisely why the recent research on M4 is of significant importance. Nestled approximately 6,000 light-years from Earth in the constellation Scorpio, Messier 4 stands as the closest globular cluster to our planet. It has an estimated age of 12.2 billion years and measures 75 light years in diameter. And here is how astronomers discovered that there is an intermediate black hole hidden in the dense cluster of stars. In the new study, the scientists analyzed 12 years of data from the Hubble Space Telescope and combined it with information from the Gaia mission. This collaboration aimed to take a closer look at the stars at the core of this cluster. In doing so, the researchers tracked the precise movements of 6,000 stars within this cluster. When astronomers carefully studied the orbits and speeds of these stars, they found something strange. The stars were being influenced by a dense mass of nearly 800 solar masses located at the center of the cluster. This discovery raises a critical question. How is this mass distributed? Could it be a singular entity like an intermediate mass black hole, or is it a collection of smaller but massive objects, like individual stellar black holes that have not merged? Despite M4 being the closest globular cluster, it remains impossible to resolve individual stars in its densely packed core. But there is a clever way to solve this problem. Although we cannot directly observe what is happening at the center of the cluster, it is possible to estimate the distribution of central mass in such clusters by studying the motion of high-speed stars. In simpler terms, if a high-speed star is linked to a possible AMI, 
its fast speed can be attributed to a dynamic boost after a close encounter with the compact object. In addition, certain models have indicated that if an AMI exists at the heart of M4, there is a 33% chance of finding a high-velocity star within the central region of the cluster. Surprisingly, the researchers managed to identify a high-speed star in their observations of M4. In this figure from the research paper, the green star represents this high-speed star. However, the presence of a high-speed star only signals the presence of mass concentrated in the cluster's core. It does not conclusively define its nature. Next, the researchers ran simulations to see the impact of removing the high-speed star on the nature of the central mass. The results revealed that the cluster exhibited the same excess mass at its core even after removing the high-speed star, albeit with a slightly more spread-out distribution. This extended distribution could suggest that the central mass comprises a collection of individual objects rather than a solitary AMI. However, in the case of M4, the mass is not spread over a region large enough to be a swarm of dense objects. Also, even if the detected mass comes from multiple objects, the system would be unstable. The reason is that the mass found in the core of M4 is equivalent to about 40 smaller black holes. Considering the observed motion of the surrounding stars, the only plausible explanation arises if all these individual black holes were squeezed into a region with a diameter of just one-tenth light year. Clearly, imagining the peaceful coexistence of 40 black holes in such a small space poses a challenge. Mergers and ejections would be inevitable. Also, a swarm of black holes would be so close to each other that they would essentially create chaos. Gravitational interactions would send stars out of the cluster, scattering them chaotically across the sky. Astronomers have already observed the effects of this in a star cluster called Palomar 5. This is how astronomers have concluded that the mass at the heart of the star cluster does not come from multiple smaller black holes, but from an intermediate one that is roughly 800 times the mass of the Sun. This makes the newly detected black hole in M4 in an intermediate mass black hole. The astronomers are now looking to collect more data from future observations of M4 by Hubble, Gaia, and the James Webb Space Telescope. Currently, the mechanism behind the creation of stellar mass black holes is well understood, generally involving core collapse of massive stars or their merger. However, the origin of supermassive black holes remains remarkably enigmatic. The precise process by which they grow, either through successive mergers with smaller black holes or through the accumulation of matter, remains to be determined. In this context, the investigation and analysis of intermediate mass black holes offer valuable insight into this unsolved mystery. Recently, the James Webb Space Telescope found signals from supermassive stars at the edge of time. They are unlike anything we have seen in the universe so far.